Pikeville Medical Center is collaborating with the Association of Cancer Care Centers to push cancer screening initiatives. Both organizations are seeking to improve patient-centered approaches to cancer care with an emphasis on enhanced quality of life. Mountaintop News spoke with Director of Lung Cancer Screenings, Dr. Michael Gieske, to learn more. Well, lung cancer is the number one cancer killer in our country and certainly the number one cancer killer in our state of Kentucky. It kills more than breast cancer, colon cancer, and prostate cancer combined. Lung cancer actually kills three times as many women as breast cancer. We have a big problem in the state of Kentucky. Lung cancer is number one in the incidence. It's number two in mortality. And we're not doing so well when it comes to five-year survival rates either. And as we know, uh, a lot of lung cancer, probably 80 to 85% is due to smoking. And in the state of Kentucky, we have a very high smoking rate. We're one of the highest in the nation. Appalachian Wireless, where your connections matter the most. Right now, get up to $550 off select devices on new or renewed line with the Appalachian Unlimited or Mix and Mesh plan. Offer good in-store only. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Gieske goes on to say informing patients is important for their overall well-being. The more informed the patient is, the more likely they are to get regular screenings. It's important to get the message out to our patients and to get the message out to the community and really get the message out to everyone that works in the healthcare system because it's oftentimes the medical assistants or the managers or the nurses that see these patients first and can realize that they qualify for lung cancer screening, encourage them to see their primary care provider and get the test done. It takes three minutes. It's, uh, I tell my patients, there's nothing in you, up you, down you, through you, nothing gets squeezed. You're in and out of the department within 15 minutes, and it's a very simple test with a very high yield. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.